This video is about fulfillment and how to achieve that in the spiritual realm. In Kabbalah, one of the first teachings is that desire is the foundation of all human essence. In other words, every human being has certain needs. And in Kabbalah, they categorize them in three levels. You have the first level, which is your basic needs of eating, sleeping, reproducing. You have the second level, which is power, honor, prestige. And then the third level, which is more intellectually driven, such as knowledge, etc. But ultimately, at the core essence of it, there is an inner desire for something. And this desire in motion, in continuous motion, is what uh, humanity is made up of. The only difference is in what proportion this kind of desire exists in each person. At the end of the day, however, all these uh, desires lead to one aspect, which is fulfillment certain kind of fulfillment and this fulfillment can only actually be achieved through the spiritual realm and not in the physical realm you might be hearing in this and questioning it and uh, healthy cynicism is good it's a fundamental rule in Kabbalah that you do not just take things for granted or somebody tells you something and you believe it so it's very fine if you're questioning what I'm saying this very moment. But for me, this is very much an experiential issue, and I feel a deep inner desire to share this. After a test uh, which was made on thousands of people, what are the 10 most important uh, uh, aspects of life? What are the, the main goals in life from a survey of many people they came up with the following uh, elements one is personal fulfillment peace of mind relief from fear and anxiety financial security contentment love freedom control wisdom happiness and health what is interesting about these items is that not one single item out of all these elements can be held in one hand now you may argue well how if I need a good body but still it's not something which you can hold to have good health is more of a concept rather than a tangible thing. Someone might argue, no, but I need money. It's not the actual money that you require. It's financial security, which is also to a large extent is actual psychological, if you like. For example, if I have 50,000 in my bank account and I get a bonus of another 50,000, I'm going to be a really happy man. But if I have $5 million and I have it invested in stocks and one day the market crashes and I lose $3 million overnight, I'm going to feel really financially insecure. So it's not the actual dollar figure which is important, it's the financial security. And that is something, again, which you cannot hold in your hand. So if a lot of these goals are spiritual then, or related to some kind of realm that is not tangible, then the question is, what are we doing to tap into that realm in order to achieve that fulfillment. This is what Kabbalah uh, attempts to question. Kabbalah is not a religion. It's an ancient wisdom based on some ancient scriptures that have been concealed from a number thousands of years for a number of reasons ranging from political, uh, religious reasons, but I'm not going to get into that because the bottom line is that now it is, has become available to everybody 
simply because there is so much chaos in the world, a few people that were studying it, certain Kabbalists, took the initiative on their own risk to open it up and spread the teaching in order to try help mankind on their personal quests to reach this kind of fulfillment.